Today we're taking a look at a viral Facebook video and putting to the test several of the ideas it showed. Are any of them viable plans or are they all completely impossible? Nate, what are we doing? We're filming a video, but we don't have our cameraman around, so we just get to film the whole thing on cell phones. This is gonna be great. It is. All right, here's the thing. We have had so many of you people sending us links and tweets and Instagram messages about a video from, well, it originated from a Facebook page called Blossom. And they make tons of videos with these quick little well-shot clips of doing things and you've actually seen one of them before when we made a video debunking taking a piece of charcoal and turning it into diamond by swirling it around in peanut butter and then freezing it in ice overnight. So Blossom had another video come out. It was awesome. It shows a bunch of really cool things that you should technically be able to do at home in a microwave, on your counter, with Coke. <sighs> Nate, how well do you think this is gonna work? Filming the video or testing out the things from Blossom? Which one are you asking about? Yes. I think the filming the video is gonna work great. <laughs> I think the things from Blossom, most of them are gonna fail spectacularly. The biggest issue I have though is that one or two of the things that they did are real and you actually can do them at home. That's those true. ones those ones are making salt crystals, which you can make salt crystals. Whether or not they'll turn out just like the ones in the video, uh, hard to say. Uh, and you can take an egg, soak it in vinegar. We've done that multiple times on this channel. Callie had a whole video she did about eggs and you do get that result. The shell kind of like, looks like it dissolves and you end up with this like gummy squishy thing. You can see light through it. And so that's kind of what's really annoying is they're, they're showing these projects off as though they're real and they have some real elements in them. But then so much of it is such a lie. And they just say like, oh yeah, this, go ahead and do this at home. No. <laughs> First up is once again, they showed you how to make diamond. And this time they used the graphite from pencils instead of the carbon from a piece of charcoal. Let's test this. Starting out with a piece of pencil graphite, sandwiching it between two small ceramic plates. It says microwave for three minutes and then they take it out of the microwave and are touching those plates with their bare hands, which something just out of the microwave is very hot, but maybe they let it cool down afterward. Uh, then it shows them just crushing up the graphite with, yeah, they just use their finger and smush it up. So yeah, I'm gonna assume that they let it cool down. It says rinse, they show some water and then like one of the larger chunks just has of this tiny clear crystal that seems to be larger in diameter than the graphite it came from, that it theoretically came from. So that's that's the first thing. Graphite, pencil graphite on some ceramic plates in a microwave. After three minutes, it turns into diamond and grows in diameter? Hmm. Graphite on a pencil, covering that plate with another plate into the microwave. Three minutes. Three minutes of hopefully not destroying our microwave. All right, three minutes. Ow, just to help it cool down faster, we're gonna put it on the counter. But I'm not holding it with my bare hands. Be really careful, there's a diamond in there. Oh yes, we wouldn't want to lose that diamond. Hmm, that looks largely unchanged, maybe because it's not cooled down all the way yet. But in the video, they just took it out and then they poked it, but their hands are bare. I would not want to touch that with bare hands. Too hot. Yep. Also, it was very crumbly what they had. Like it had already started crumbling a little bit. This is not even a tiny bit crumbly. This is like entirely unchanged from how it was before we put it in the microwave. I wonder what on earth they did to their piece of graphite, if it was even graphite. The next step is supposed to be rinsing it. Now this didn't crumble apart the way we were hoping it would. So rinsing it may not do anything at all, but we're gonna try it. Nate, you're six foot four. Where do you want me to hold the camera so you're in frame? I'm not six foot four. The rinsing doesn't really do much when it didn't crumble in the first place. Break, darn you. Finally. You broke. I'm gonna go ahead and say there's no diamond in there's there. There's no diamond in there. That's really weird, I wonder where it went. I know there are monopolies about diamonds and they are not nearly as rare as diamond companies would like you to believe, but they are not something you can just make at home. There is no DIY diamond project. There are ways to create artificial diamonds. Some use massive explosions. Some use super crazy, fancy, expensive machines that do insane things. We actually can make synthetic diamonds that are basically indistinguishable from the mined ones. None of those are processes you can do at home. 
At least yet. Maybe someday in the future we'll find one, but I doubt it. All right, next one. We take a rock, we put in a cup of water, microwave, microwave again, for three minutes. Also for three minutes. A crack forms, air bubbles out, they reach into the <laughs> microwave <laughs> water that's <laughs> apparently water. not hot, and it has turned into a fancy geode. The rock split open in the microwave and turned into a geode. It says crystals form in rock gas bubbles. That's right, crystals form in rock gas bubbles. Apparently when you microwave rocks, there are rock gas bubbles and crystals form in them. So we've got some rocks, we've got a cup, and you know we have a microwave. Guess what we're gonna do? Rock, bowl of water, rock in bowl of water, microwave. What are you microwaving? A rock in a bowl of water. That makes total sense. This is how you make a geode. Three minutes. My rock didn't split open and start bubbling like theirs did. I think it's still a rock. Uh, didn't you see? It turns into a geode. Is it splitting open? Is it a geode? No. Still a... Oh, oh there you we did go. break it. We broke the rock open. It's actually dry on the inside still. Uh, it's also Not a geode. still a rock on the inside. Callie, we microwaved our rock for three whole minutes and we did not get any geodes. Why not? Guys, that's not how geodes are formed. Geodes are formed in gas pockets, in igneous rocks, sometimes even in little burrows under tree roots, things like that. Silicates and carbonates will actually be dissolved into the cavity of the rock itself and over time, crystals will form. And some of the largest crystals you can get in geodes take up to a million years to form. Not all of them take that long. You can collect geodes. You can't just pick a rock up out of your yard, throw it in the microwave, and expect to have crystals form. All right, what's the next thing we're doing? Mushroom. We're peeling off the skin. Skinny mushroom. Laying them all out. Lay out. Just tossing some salt on there. Cover in salt. Sun, Sun dry. dry one day. Okay. Turns into this hard sheet and then it works as leather. We've got some mushrooms. We're gonna see, well, first, if you can peel them the way it was just shown and maybe we have the right type of mushrooms, maybe we don't. It didn't say what type of mushrooms they used. We're gonna try and peel these. Then we're gonna lay the pieces out flat. We're gonna sprinkle some salt on top and then we're gonna see if that magically turns into a leather sheet. I'm going to put salt on it. And they use quite a bit too. I really feel like this is going to do absolutely nothing but have some slightly dried out mushroom Well, here's husks. the thing. They're gonna be tasty. Next up, let's see what we've got. Sand, just looks like regular playground sand. They poured some water on it. They've got a little torch. It's a like mutant got. torch. It is, and it burns and bubbles quite a bit. I don't know if sand is gonna do that. Um, and then they just pull a piece of glass out of the sand that they hit with a blowtorch. Looks suspiciously like sea glass that you would pick up at the beach or something if you lived at a slightly messy beach. Nate, is that how sea glass forms? No, sea glass forms because people throw bottles in the water and they break and then just get beaten around by sandy water for years. Very different process, but hey, let's try their method. We're gonna use a plate for its, uh, its well-known sand retaining properties. Then we've got some water. We're just gonna add a little bit of the water here in the middle. So we've got some really good wet sand. All of this sand is actually just a little bit wet, but now that part is more wet like in the video. Callie, you wanna do the honors and hit this with a little butane torch? Okay, now their sand started burning and bubbling and turning black very quickly. Ours is going dry. Which, you know, I, kind of I'm, makes sense. I'm hitting it with heat. It's drying out. Not burning and bubbling and turning black. Maybe add some more water. Did we get the ratio wrong? The ratio of water to sand is super important when making glass. Guys, if you've watched a lot on this channel, you've actually seen a time when we did make glass. Grant had a couple of guests over and we used the foundry and some sand and some other chemicals to help purify and clean it out a little bit. And they got a sort of rudimentary glass, but it was not just a blowtorch 
on some wet playground sand. And not just any blowtorch, this is just a tiny butane blowtorch, which is exactly what they had in that video. It's like a tiny kitchen torch. Yeah. It's not going to get hot enough to as, melt rock. As handheld blowtorches go, this is not the highest temperature. So I wonder what they mixed into their sand. That reaction kind of looked like a, maybe a baking soda and <laughs> sugar style reaction. Just because I am curious if it's possible to replicate a little bit of the effect of what they're doing. I'm just gonna take a little bit of sugar. I'm gonna mix some of that into the sand, pour a little more water on, and then I'm gonna hit that with the torch. I still think that with the water on it, it's not really gonna bubble and burn, but we'll try it. I'm smelling the burning sugar, so some kind of reaction. Like I said, a little bit of baking soda might have helped making it with the bubbles and the, the escaping carbon dioxide. We've combined sugar and baking soda before to make those fire snake things. And I don't know, this is, yeah, we've now got some nice burning going on here. So maybe that means we've got some glass underneath. Oh, let's, maybe. let's turn off the torch and find out. Oh, there's no glass underneath. You can't take a blowtorch to a pile of wet sand and just get glass out of it like that. Getting nice, clear panes of glass, there's actually more chemicals in it. Sand is made of silica dioxide. It is the same main ingredient as many types of glass, not all, but they don't just use just that one element and you don't hit it with a blowtorch while it's wet. You use special kilns and you heat it up and you add the other elements and you mix it and you let it cool down very slowly so it doesn't crack. They just put a piece of beach glass into a pile of sand and then pretended to pull it back out. It's, it's, you can't make glass like that, sorry. And then an emergency. Foil, foil, oh, oh that's so right. much foil. And then crumpled. Foil ball. Now if you spend much time on the internet, you've seen this before. You take the foil, you crumple it down really hard, you sand it, you sand it, you sand it, and this is the part where it gets absurd because they say using oil and a kitchen sponge turns it into a mirrored ball. Wait, I just want to address something real quick. Please, like, power please address to the something. people at Blossom. There is a little hole in this ball. It's almost as if this was an, like a metal ball that was formed on something as it was. This is just a steel shiny ball that they bought. And here we can see the guy who filmed it. Hello, guy that filmed it. Hey, good job. Let's do this one more time. I just wanna, let's, let's, let's take a look at this. Okay. Sanding. Sanding, oil. 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 Cleaning sponge. Cleaning sponge. Oh, right there, it, that's where we got our switch. And you see him? Thumb jumped a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, little, and then he pulled away. Okay, and, and now it it's rolls. mirror polish, brilliant. Okay, let's try it. Found problem number one, guys. Okay, that's about right. this right here, that's what we're gonna be testing. We're gonna take sandpaper to this, try and smooth it down a fair amount, and then when it looks about like it did in the video, we're gonna try oil and a sponge. That honestly looks fairly similar to what they have in the video in terms of how polished it was before they started hitting with oil. But just to give it the best chance of success, we're gonna go up higher. That was a 120 grit, we're now gonna go to a 180 grit, and we're gonna follow that up with a 220 and a 320 grit. That's pretty nice and smooth. We've got a wavy blue sponge like they did, rough on one side, less rough on the other side. They used the smoother side, we're gonna use the smoother side. We've got some oil, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil, hit it with the sponge and see if it makes any difference at all. Did it work? I'm not seeing any noticeable difference in what's happening here. All right, it's been over a day actually, but let's check on how our mushroom top skins, I'm not sure what you call that. Leather, vegan whatever, leather. Whatever we peeled off of the mushrooms, let's see how those are doing. <laughs> Looks like tree bark. Look, okay, so first off, it's just like coming apart like dust. There's water on the counter. But it's not, it's stuck. So even if you were to put this on like parchment paper, it's gonna stick. They're not sticking together, they're just... So the pieces stick to the plate really well, not so much to each other. Congratulations, we've invented mushroom glue. It's kind of interesting that you can, like that really is it sticking is, a lot. It is really stuck to it. I but this, is, this is not flexible even no. a tiny, tiny bit. I, I am gonna taste it, I have to know. It tastes like salt. Overall, what kind of results did we get? Not great ones. Guys, you can't believe everything you see on the internet, and that's coming from us. <laughs> you can't make diamonds out of 
graphite from a pencil. You can't make geodes by microwaving a rock. Again, we made this particular video because we had so many people reaching out to us and commenting about it, sending the link on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, saying like, oh, let us know, you know, try these things out. Were we wrong about any of our expectations? No, no, we, guys, we pretty much called that, and I'm sorry. Everything but we, we tried. expected is how it went. Um, and again, we didn't try, we didn't test whether salt is going to form into exactly that shape of crystal. You also can soak an egg in vinegar. The shell will kind of dissolve, it'll get translucent. Like Nate was pointing out before, some of the reasons that this was so frustrating for us when we were watching this video is that there were actual tiny pieces of science peppered in between all of these things that are just completely false. So it's a really good way of tricking people. They try one or two and they think, oh, this works. They try the next few, their results aren't what they wanted and they get frustrated. I'm Do not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what the goal was of making those videos, but it has a lot of views and that's, that's probably the whole goal right there. But to all of you who asked us to test this out, there you go. I hope we answered your questions satisfactorily and we're very sorry that you can't make diamonds in your kitchen using a pencil. That would be great for all of us if we could, but it's not gonna happen. This video has ended. There's another video if you click that box. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica.